Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And of course, once you have connected to your network in Windows 11 install, you'll be greeted with checking for updates. So if you took the latest update that is available, uh, you will not wait too long for this. But if you have an old image that hasn't been updated in a while, this could take a little longer as it will download all the updates that it needs. And don't be surprised that even after the updates here, it might still, and you might still have some Windows updates left that will be applied when all the install is done. So, but this is, um, you know, compared to Windows 7, which is hell in updating and hell in, in installing, uh, this is so much, so much better. Uh, clearly, they've made a, they did a great job at cleaning that up uh, because Windows 7 was, and, and all the past Windows were dreadfully um, difficult and, and so horrible to update and install. Um, it was just crazy. So at least here you end up that your system is fairly recent and has the minimal security flaws possible. Then you will be greeted to give a name for your device. It's extremely important to give a name, a, a, a name that will actually make it easy to recognize your device. Why? If you got one computer, it isn't that much of a problem. But if you have more than one and you want to actually share between machines, well, that's where it becomes important because you'll be able to identify which machine you're sending to. Um, one quick example of this is if you are using um, Edge, for example, and you are right-clicking and you say you want to send the tab to a device, well, this is how it shows up. So by knowing that, for example, here, Asus Main, I know it's my main gaming laptop, Samsung Fong tells me what it is. Old Toshiba tells me it's the old Toshiba. The Windows 10 PC, I got only one. I know it's that one. So you could see how I easily know where I'm sending, and that's why this question here is important if you have more than one PC. This can be changed after, but be warned that your main drive folders will depend on the information here. Then it will tell you, do you want to uh, unlock uh, your... Uh, Setup experience, and this, of course, is going to be with a sign-in to your Microsoft account. Now, notice, no way to not do it. And that is one of the things that a lot of people are not very happy about. Uh, I haven't tried the uh, offline to see if offline it will offer anything else, but uh, it pretty much seems that you are and have to create or add a Microsoft account for this to work and then you verify your identity and then you actually sign in officially to your account uh, creating a pin if you don't want to enter a password at the startup of your PC you can create a pin I use pins because they're easy and you can use just you know a little pin uh, for pin for for numbers for a pin like a you know a debit credit card whatever uh, makes it easier to to log in than entering a, a long complicated password. Uh, it's part of the Windows Allow, and so you can actually do this and continue on. So after that, we're going to talk about in the next video the uh, privacy options because lots of them are in the install where you can already shut down a lot of it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.